mind, but I must find him. In his dreams, but my reality, I feel our minds intertwine. I must corral him, but first I need to find him. Who is this child of my music endeavor? I'm yet to see his face, the childhood I lost, the childhood I can control as if it were my own. I feel closer to him than ever before. Tonight, we will meet! Sir, it's my suspicious. I'm getting coffee. You want any? Nah, I'm not much of a coffee drinker. Okay, suit yourself. Yes, I'll get all the information I can, sir. Oh my. It's a firewall. Can't get in. Confidential. I think I have an answer to his question. Well, let this be a toast to our good fortune. Being appointed to search for a ruthless murder isn't exactly good fortune, but nonetheless, I am looking forward to it. <sighs> About these murders. We hardly even know who we're searching for. Yes? Hey, can I come in? No. Oh. Okay, well, well are, are, you, are you Mr. James Lawson, the owner of the apartment? Yes, I am. Well, you have to sign here. Here, 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 and of course here. What for? And who are you? For the secret package. I'm the mailman. I didn't order a secret package. Okay. Hi. Oh. There. about the Fraser Woods, down the highway. Pardon my eagerness, but if that's where it is, I think that's exactly where we need to go. Hmm. All right. But do you go? 
awesome. I think I've found a clue. What? The tracks we've been following for hours seem to be made out of blood. This isn't good. It's getting dark. We need to hurry. What is that? What? That advancing thing. That figure in the distance. It's running on us. We need to get out of here. Nonsense. I have a gun. He's armed! Well, in the name of self-defense. I killed him. Happy? This is a stand-in. We need to get out of here. Come on. I already told you, the car is over there. This is an old mining town back in the 19th century. No one lives here now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, two kilos. You got that? Mm -hmm. Alright, gotta go. Welcome to Crawley Chorus. Is there any vacancy here? <laughs> Gus, the whole hotel's vacant. <laughs> um, well, we'll take the largest room you have then, sir. Alright, right this way. Here's your room. Enjoy your stay. Okay, Bye. thank you. This place sure is spooky. Yeah, but it serves its purpose. Hmm. Why do you think he said all the other rooms are vacant? I don't know. It's a very good point, my dear Lawson. It's quite odd indeed. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe they don't get many visitors in this town. Maybe. Lawson, hold this. I need to go and walk to clear my head. There's a lot of them. Oh, the can't split up! Trust me, it won't be long. I wonder where I stand on this tracker. Then I would know where the monster is in relation to me. But I don't. How would know? For all I know, the monster could be standing right behind me. Or it could be 20 kilometers away. I don't know. Who goes there? How? Is that you? Ah! Uh oh, the track is. Uh, it's not turning on. Ah! It's not turning on. Crap. Oh my god, you're finally awake. Where am I? You're at the Montfort Hospital. Why? You've been in a coma for the last three years. They're found almost dead in the Fraser Woods. Is Hal here too? Oh, you mean the other detective? Yeah. I'm afraid not. He's pronounced dead at the scene. No. He was murdered. Who killed him? 
I don't think I'm the right person to ask that to. Just please tell me. I'm not a police officer. I don't know. Do you remember anything? Hmm. Sort of. But it's all like a distant dream. Or nightmare. What about your attacker? No. I never saw his face. He attacked me from behind. Never saw his face? Never. That's good. What? Understood. I need to go to alert the other staff. I'll be right back. After a lifetime of waiting and wishing for his awakening, my time to strike has finally arrived. He's awake, conscious, and now has the capacity to feel the suffering that will be afflicted upon his feeble body. After three years of being trapped within his own pathetic flesh, he lacks the strength he once possessed. 